Hi everyone, this is Mingyao from OZ Engineering. Uh, in this video, I wanted to show how to convert STL files into 3D CAD. So I found this really cool website, uh, NIH, that gives you a variety of STLs that's publicly available for body geometries uh, to download. So if you're doing developing products for prosthetics or implantable devices, we got femurs, we have all, all kinds of organs, and other things you can download. The challenge is always how do we turn this into a CAD model, do analysis, integrate 3D mechanical CAD with these STL components. They're all very high quality good scans. So I'm going to show you some really easy ways to, to convert that into, into actual CAD geometry. So let's, let's try this fourth lumbar. <clears throat> There we go. So we have a geometry here, and it's an STL file, so lots of triangles. The capability, historically, to convert this into CAD to solid, there's a few options. I can right click and convert this into a solid, but it'll be a massive CAD model because there's so many surfaces. I can try to recreate this model, which is very difficult. Uh, it will take a lot of time for me to carefully craft something like this. In the latest release of Discovery, we have something called sub-D modeling, subdivision modeling. So if you don't have that option on your toolbar, we go to customize uh, settings, customize ribbons, and turn on my sub-D branch. This gives me the ability to see subdivision options here. And I have the option to convert this model from a facet geometry into a sub-D model with one millimeter of tolerance. So I hit OK here. And it's going to try to convert this large STL into a CAD model for me. It's much easier to handle. Okay, that's it. So we have a sub-D model here. We also have the STL here. So I can choose to see the STL. You can see the way that the sub-D model uh, takes on the shape of the STL without capturing all of the details. With subdivision, we can choose to move things around. So for example, if I feel like this surface should protrude a little bit more, I can grab it and I can just pull on it. I can grab any of these areas. Maybe, maybe I want to select a few of these and say, hey, I feel like these areas should bulge out a little bit more. I can just do that. Or, or I can uh, subdivide the, the geometry as we see here and, and uh, get even more refined area, maybe capture some of these protrusions. So now we have a subdivision model here that's obviously much easier to handle. We can convert this, this model. We can do a convert, this one from uh, sub D to solid. So let's go ahead and do that. We also keep the original model. So now I have three models, I have the facet geometry, the sub-D, as well as the solid model. Okay, convert the solid model, sub-D, and facet geometry. So if I wanted to draw something here, let's say we sketch on this, I draw a cylinder on this surface. And pull on it and we can for example combine so operate this j just as if we're doing a regular uh, CAD model okay combine it together now I have a single geometry that looks like this and I can make changes to it by adding fillets Uh, what's really interesting about the sub-D model is, is that uh, if I'm doing a, a regular CAD model, you can see it's very difficult to make organic shapes like, like I have here with the bone type of geometry. But with a sub-D model, I, could, I easily uh, was able to modify the geometry. So here, I'm trying to pull on this. It's trying to maintain continuity and basically is not allowing me to adjust the geometry, but if I hide my solid model 
and turn on my sub D model, I can grab a single point here and move it around. So I can bring it up. I can rotate it and say pull it in this direction. I can grab any surface and I can pull normal to it or I can pull into it. Make it make it concave or convex or pinching the part here. I can select uh, specific points here and maybe I'll say hey let, let's make this a little bit more protrudy like that. So sub D gives you the ability to really create organic shapes which is ideally suited for uh, organic geometry like body models here, human body scans. We're able to convert easily and very quickly a 3D scan model into a sub D model and that can be uh, at the end converted into solid models which can be operated on by, um, by standard CAD operations. So a very short example of how we can take a STL from, for example, NIH database, convert into a CAD model for analysis or integration with existing mechanical CAD, and also modify it as needed uh, in the sub-D form to create more organic shapes. Hopefully this was interesting for you. It's a new capability that seems really helpful for many of our customers. If you're interested in videos like this, please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to ozeninc.com. Thanks. Have a nice day.